He's with the ex today, so. Ten more eggs. All right, y'all ready? Let's pull up y'all's handy dandy chapter and let's see what. I went over a few things to review yesterday. I didn't see what 6.7 was, or is it 7? 5. 5.7? It's 7.1, I think. No. Yeah. We went over 5.7. We went over 3.6. Okay, 3. 3. Okay. Did we go over 3.7? I don't know. I don't think we did. Did we even go over 3.6? Yes, we did. He did it. And he's online. He looked at it and said, how does this one look like? Yep. And you were supposed to go next door and get those papers. I know. I got to get them. I got to call them and tell them to. Let me look at 3.7. See what the title of it is. Point slope form of equations. Yeah, we did that. But we'll we'll do some problems because I did problems out of 3.6. Did I not? No. I thought I did. Okay, I did one. I thought I did more than that. All right, let's do some out of 3.6 and 3.7, and then that'll take care of the review. Graph using the what? Slope and the y-intercept. That is, that is number three. That is uh, building a line. Where's my phone? Let me call down there and... Hey Joe, can you send somebody to open 224? I left something in there in the teaching station when I was in there, and I need to get it whenever somebody's up this way. I just need to know when somebody's up this way. Just stick your head in 223 and let me know. Okay, bye bye. All right, so this one says. 9 fifths x plus 3. So the first thing we're going to do is extract the info that we need because this is uh, number 3, method 3. You don't do any math. You just pull out the info. So the what is the sign of the slope on this problem? Positive or negative? Positive. Positive. So you know it's left to right going up. So I'm going to take my handy dandy highlighter, put this off center. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, yeah, this ain't going to work. What did it do? That's better, but it's still not right. There. All right, we'll color this green. We'll color this yellow. Mm -hmm. Make it a little bit. And then I'm going to take the blue marker and we're going to color right in front of that blue. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy marker. And I'm going to write in green my slope, my point, my y-intercept is 0, comma, what? 3. Three. Blue, sign of my slope is positive, so that means left to right up. And then my yellow is 9 over what? 5. 9 over 5. So we plot our point, 0, 3. 
That's two, so three would be right in here. And then our line is going to be blue, and it's going to go left to right, like that. And now our yellow, I'm going to go up nine and over five. So you got to be careful on this because these are your in-between blocks. So we know that this is one, so two, four, six, eight. That would be nine. And then how many over? Two, four, five. And there's my point. And then go down. Two, four, six, eight. And that's nine. So that's eight. And then two, four, five. It's right there. And I don't know why it's not doing what I want it to do, but yeah. So now we've got a line between these th these three points. And it looks something like that. There's your line. Now that's the way you do it by hand. Now, of course, if you want to do that on the on this grid, then you have to do the same thing. Only you do it by the handy dandy grid line maker thing. Click on straight line, plot the y intercept, and then go up nine which is, there's one, that's two, twelve. two, oh, thank you, twelve and twelve. two, four, five, and there's your line. Dang old excellent. And if you ever want to check the slope, which way do we read? So put your car right here. And where's that car going? Up now. So it's positive. When you see these words, slope and y intercept, that means method three. Capiche? Capiche. I should have been Italian. Mm -hmm. Huh? Ah! Oh, no kidding! <coughs> All right, try this one. Which method is it? Here's your hint right here. No, that's not that's not what I want. No, I don't want that one because that's the same one we just did. I want one with another method, another method of graphing. Just give me a second. Tell you how to graph. That's the same method. They, this, that must be the only method they want you to use in this section. All right. Ignore the directions here. So that means we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do this. Okay. I want you to graph that line using the method that you need to use. Now, how do you know which method to use? Well, in the methods I gave you yesterday, what method do you use when y is not by itself? Method what? One, two, or three? Two, which is called what? The intercept, intercept method. I didn't write something down. Uh, it wasn't open this morning. I'm not. I'm not in my heart. I gave it to you. I was just going to be honest. The other statement against 
the food. Yeah. When he gets the chocolate pie. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. If I don't have enough, I'll run another one. But I can't believe I remember that they were. Just share. Hey, look on each other's. Y'all turn around and look at it as I'm going over it. But method two, each 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 handout, each page gives you how to do it, and then uh, an example, I think, right below. So here is method two. You use when y is not by itself. You have to be accurate with this method, so you have to use graph paper and a sharp pencil and a straight edge. Um, yeah, on this one. Graph paper and ruler is required. So, let's go ahead and do this one. And the way that I showed you to do it on there is you draw a big table. X intercept, zero for Y. Y intercept, zero for X. Why do you think I put the intercept right here? Why do you think I'd write that out? You think I do it because I'm trying to get a point to y'all, or you think I'm doing it because I'm absent minded, or you think I'm doing it just to write? Just to write. Nope. Because the most you. common mistake on method two it's is the not the algebra. Plot. You plot the wrong point. You plot the x intercept on the y axis, and you plot the y intercept on the x axis. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to put this. Now, a lot of people say, well, Hubert, I don't like method two. I don't care. All right? The reason we show you method two is not because you think it's redneck and you're thinking, oh, well, I don't want to do this. No. The reason we teach method two is because in any application, whether it is marketing, whether it is business, whether it is trig, whether it is calculus, whether it is economics, if you want the y-intercept of a graph, what are you going to do? Plug in zero for what? Um, for x. If you want the x-intercept of the graph, you're going to plug in zero for what? Y. That is true in any application of mathematics. That's why we teach method two. We don't teach method two to piss you off. We teach method two so you can carry it in other classes. Oh. Biology, chemistry, physics, <coughs> calculus, trig. Algebra, economics, business, management, marketing. So, now you put your equation right here. Now, does anybody notice the way I put these under the coordinates? Hmm? I line up what I'm plugging in. So what does that zero do to this 4y? Zero. And you're left with 16x. 
x is equal to 1. And that 1 goes right here. What happens to this 16x right here? It cancels. 4y. Divided by 4. Oh, I thought that was the way you read your thought. 4 goes right here. And now you can plot those two points. Now, why is it the most accurate, the most inaccurate? Or you gotta be you gotta be accurate. Because you only got how many points? Two. You mess up one of them, you what? Mess up the whole thing. Mess up the whole thing. So you need to check. What I tell students to do is use one. Why do I use one? Why don't I use 107? Kiss method. What's the kiss method? Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Okay? So I'm not going to pick three fifths. I'm not going to pick four eighths. I'm not going to pick negative 27. I'm going to pick one. And I'm going to plug it in. 16 times one plus 4y is equal to 16. And 16 minus 16 is what? Zero. So y is equal to what? Zero. Zero. And of course that checks right here. Okay, I think Well, usually it don't happen that way. Usually one and zero. Usually. So if it hits your point, then pick another point. Pick two. Pick three. Pick four. But don't pick a crazy number like 27 over 2. Pick 1, 2, or negative 1, negative 2, something like that. That that one just coincidentally became our x-intercept. So you got to pick another number. So pick 2. 2 times 16 is what? 32, Hubert. 16 minus 32 is negative 16. So that would be negative 4. So 2 would be what? Negative four. So you plot. So let's go. To, let's go ahead and draw this one. Y'all got to tell me what my points are. So let's go to the white. That's why you also have to have because I'm going to be off because I don't have graph paper. I could. No, let's see. Let's see. I could do this. Let's see. Let's see. Let's What was my x-intercept? Four. You sure? Four, one. one, zero. So, and what was my y-intercept? Four. Now I'm going to take my handy handy line maker, and I'm going to make it thinner than my point. Gotta make sure it's on the right. Gotta make sure it's straight. And what was our checkpoint? Two what? Checkpoint was two, comma, negative four. Negative four. So go over two, one, two, I'm sorry, 
two, negative four, one, two, and one, two, three. Boom! We hit it. That's how you check it. And I don't know if I showed y'all a check on method two, did I? No, Hubert. Yes, Hubert. I don't see. It's on the back. It's on the back. Okay. All right. So that's how you do method two. Now let's do method, we did method three. Method one I'm not going to do because method one y'all been doing since pre-algebra. So we're going to move on. Let's move on to five point or three point what? Seven because that's where you've got the calculating. And that's what a lot of your test questions are going to come from in, th in 3.6 and 3.7. A lot of your test questions are going to come from 3.7 because it is where I want to check to see if you know how to uh, calculate whatever you need. So, 3.7. I gave you the formulas yesterday. So let's look and see. I'm not going to do that one yet. Given the point slope equation, that's not what I'm going to do. Okay, I thought I saw two points. Did I not see two points? When we did the homework a while ago, give me a second. Find an equation in point slope form. Okay, this is this is a test question. It says find an equation. When you see those three words, find an equation. I don't care what math you're in. When you see those three words, you're going to use the point slope equation. Y minus Y sub 1 is equal to M times X minus X sub 1. Now, when you need to find an equation, you're either going to be given two points or you're going to be given a point and a what? Slope. slope. Which one is this one? Uh, slope. This one is a point and a slope. This one is the easy one. Okay? This one is the easy one. Why? So all you got to do is what? Plug and Yep. We read left to right. So that's x sub 1 and y sub 1. So y minus parentheses equals parentheses times x minus parentheses. And what goes here? Go to. What goes here? Negative 1. And what goes here? And now you just solve for what? Why? And if you can't do that, just consider yourself what? Dumb. A failure. We don't want to use such negative language as dumb in here. We'll use failure and disappointment. Right, Miss Turner? Miss mm -hmm. Turner uses those terms all the time. She works for DSS. Right? You call people losers all the time, don't you? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Mine went out of my house one time. I'm not sure my ex in. Uh, I didn't. You can check the records. I didn't. You ever been on McClure Road before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, that wasn't you. Because <laughs> it was two people that came out. Two women. I got flushed that, but I didn't do it. I had to show y'all pictures of my house before and after. You ever seen the movie Hoarders? Yep. That's what my house looked like. Okay. 
Now, to her benefit, she didn't have any dead cats in the freezer yeah, and all that stuff. But was. you had an aisle through the den and an aisle to the front door. And you had in the bedroom on the beds, you had stacked clothes, but you had to move the clothes to get in the bed. Hmm? Oh, and the kitchen was just nasty all the time. Every night I clean the kitchen. I don't do it in the morning because I cook breakfast for him and I cook breakfast for me. And I just wait till I get home. I put everything in, the, in water in the sink and then when I get home at night from the farm, that's when I put everything in the washer. And then I, the next morning it'll be clean. But it wasn't that way. I have to show y'all pictures. Y'all don't believe me. I have to show you pictures. I took pictures. Dang old log. Dang old. Divorce court. I said, you live with me now. My house ain't big enough for this stuff. Mm -hmm. nope, not but you know what? It's psychological. Yeah. It is. It is a psychological because it's, the people do not want to give away anything. They don't want to. They don't want to let go of anything because. Well, they think in their head, I can use that later. I can mm -hmm. use this for something else or this, that, and the other. You know what I will live by? If you don't. If it's in my truck, truck or in my house and I haven't looked at it in the last two weeks, it's out of here. Well, I go through because there's nothing important in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I go through my kids' room once a month. If they have something for toys, he gets donated. What? My husband, he thinks everything can be used for something. His dad is a um, dump truck. Yeah. And he'll get stuff and he'll go get it from there. I mean, he'll fix it up and it'll be useful, but it's just that you can't leave it in my house. Yeah. And, ooh. I have to. I, I found. I found those pictures on my. No, it was on my Gmail. I can pull it up right now and show you. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll have to go through and uh, find them. There's me dancing on the tables and stuff. I don't want y'all to see that. <laughs> me picking up people over my head. I don't want to. You don't need to see that either. What's that? No, me. <laughs> me getting a little bit. Uh, yeah, and picking people up. That's what I do. Huh? No, I pick up people. All right. Y is equal to negative 5x plus 15 minus plus 2. And Y is equal to negative 5x plus 17. Now, somebody tell me what that is. Lord have mercy. What is this? That's number three, two. What is it though? This it is the equation three. for what? This. Let me show y'all because there's so many times people do stuff in algebra and they have no idea what they did. Hmm. One, two, three, one, two. And the slope is negative. So that means we go up five over what? One. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one. So, what is the equation for that line? That black line, what is the equation? That's the equation. So, you're taking a point on the line and the slope of the line and you're finding the what? The equation for the line. You would be surprised how many people go through algebra and they do this problem, and I say, what is that? And they go, I don't know. So what's that called? The equation. It's just the line. equation of the line. Mm -hmm. Okay. In other words, if you wanted to plot five points, you just use that same equation that you go over. Negative with. two, negative one, zero, one, and two. So you don't have that information in this equation, I mean, in this direction. You have to have this in order to do that. So now, what's uh, negative two? Negative two of a 10, 10 plus 17 is 27. Negative 1 is 5. 5 plus 17 is 22. Yeah. 0 plus 17 is 17. And negative 5 plus 17 is 12. And negative, negative 10, 10 7. 7. So now you've got 5. Well, can't you also just do the counting? Well, yeah, you can do that. that yeah. Figure it out that way. But you need the equation so you can, that's how you find the equation of y. Okay. If you don't know how to find the equation, that's how you do it.
right? So that is a test question. Now, what else can I give you? Two points. And if I give you two four points, you have to find what? Slope, and then pick one of the points, and then you can do it. Let's see if I can find one. I hope I can. You should be right in here. There, no, that's not a point. There we go. All right, there's a test question. Just like the one we just did, only instead of giving you a slope and point, I'm going to give you what? X and Y is one. Two points. X of 1, Y sub 1, X of 2, Y sub 2. Have you ever seen the big huge tires that come on the Michelin plant? Yeah, I live right there at the Michelin plant. I got beside them yesterday and I was scared to think I was going to fall over on a poor little door. Hmm? No, I was going to show you something. We were talking about Cleveland Road the other day. Or is it Cleveland Drive? Cleveland Road. Okay. Cleveland Drive is a uh, Okay. God, I remember doing a survey over there. Oh my gosh. Dang old snakes. Yeah, there's a road right near, right near your house. There's a road that goes back in the woods. It's sort of like a driveway. And we had like this huge fire. Um, can we see the numbers? Who's the trailer that lives back there? There's, there's a circle, right? It's a circle. It's called Dennis Ward Circle because Dennis Ward was right mm -hmm. here. And then it's but there's a trailer at the end of it. Right. Um, okay. It depends because it goes around in a circle, and on this side of the circle, it's the trailer my parents first lived in when they were mm -hmm. married. And then, like, on this side, where it's like private property. Well, I was surveying for John Burroughs, who owns half the country right there. And um, I had to survey a line back there. And I, I told the guys, I, I, it looked kind of creepy. It looked like meth lab, really. It did. Yeah, my, Not your family, but the one that I'm talking about was a drive, a gravel drive, up in the woods. And there's a trailer at the end of it. And I had to go up there. I said, you stay out here on the road in the truck, just in case something happens. Negative, yeah. No. It's all about us. Let's but see. the house right beside me is a bad I'm gonna find that trailer. <laughs> Your head just snapped. My what? I just love doing this. This right here is just so cool. What, to me. Out? Yeah. Dang, where's the satellite? It's from like 2000. When's the last time they did it? 2007. Yeah. 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 And there's, here's that subdivision I was telling you about right here. I mean, where's the dang magnifying glass? There it is. No. Oh, well. I'm used to being able to do a... Oh, well. That's the subdivision. There's that subdivision right there. Let's see. Cleveland, Ridge, Ridgecrest, or whatever, Richland, right comes right out right here. And here's your road. Yeah. Now. Where is that guy? I'm gonna find that trailer. I see it. Dennis Ward Circle right there. Go down. Okay. That that's that thing right there that says Dennis Ward Circle. That's not it. That's my parents' driveway though. Okay, that's not it. Well then I don't know what you're talking about. 
Yeah. That's that trailer right there. No, that can't be that trailer. He must have trailer that my parents were sleeping. It's probably one of those right there. One of these? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's one of these. That's it. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Had a swimming pool. It had a swimming pool. I don't know if it still does or not. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Because when I went back there, I saw this shop right here, and I went, I mean, it was like deliverance. I mean, dogs, like the old chain dogs, and yeah. Hey, is that updated literally to the day? No, because, yeah, because they, he used to have a swimming pool back here. There, there, see that circle right there? Used yeah. to be a swimming pool right there. Hey, my friends go ahead and love them. No, we ain't going to your house. It's all about me. It's all about us. It's all about, it's all about us. I just want to see what's in my neighbor's house. Hey, you guys see his cars in my neighborhood? What? Over. <laughs> okay, okay, go to that where the circle is. Okay, you see how there's a house in the middle of it? Right here? No. Right here? No, I don't yeah, that one. Alright. White truck. No, that is a white truck. It's got a sunroof. Okay. I've been wondering who that was for the longest time. Well, how do we go to the ground view? There's a button you push to go to the ground view. No, that's there's the ground view. Oh gosh, that's McClure. I don't want to go there. Yeah, that's dang on my house. Dang on my house right there. I wonder how far you can go down the driveway. Can you go down the driveway? Can't go down the driveway. Dang old fall. Dang old no leaves on the trees. Dang, well, how do you see? Let's see, how do you go back? Go right to okay, I don't know how to work this. You just have to type in another address. Satellite. Okay, this needs to go away. How? That's my driveway. Dang old hay bind right there. Dang old, that's like a year ago. Okay, my swimming pool. I made a swimming pool out of hay bales and a tarp, so it's not there. Huh? And it is fun. You take round bales, and they're about five foot tall, and you put them in a, and you put a big tarp in the middle and fill it up with water. Dang old fun. But the hay, it was right there beside the garage, so that's, to you. Dang old somebody's car right there. I don't know. Yeah, don't you want to know who it is? Yeah. I can't tell because it's like a shadow. Okay, where's yours? 2811. 2811. This is mathematics. You know, we're talking about graphing. That's what this is. Because somebody's going to complain. What church? Oh. All right, now hold on a minute, because I, I I've done a lot of surveying on Milton Road. I just got to find my I got to find where I'm at. Flat Rock. Okay, I know we're Flat Rock, and then you turn on Milton Road. Okay, where's Juanita's? It's on the other way. Okay, so it's this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you down there toward Price's Meat? No, I'm not. I'm on the other Oh, so you down there near Pick and Pay. Down there near Pick and Pay, the convenience store. Okay, forget it. Is that catchy thing that has like the little, got locked? Like you can't get it. It's got like a little thing around it that's locked. No, that's, that's old Juanita's. Oh, that's yeah, that's Juanita's. That ain't just catchy. <laughs> no, that's my house in the picture down there. One, see, that's Juanita's. Yeah, that's Juanita's. Save a stop. Yeah. It used to be called Pick and Pay. Yeah. Um, okay, I know where you at now. I surveyed. Uh, I surveyed several places down there. You have to look on the plat. We were All right. Anybody else want to see their house? Let's zoom in. Let's see what's going on at your house. Probably nothing. Wouldn't that be something if it was real time? Yeah. 
and you zoomed in your house and there was like two cars there and you didn't know who they were. Yeah, it would be, but I don't know if I'd want to. Well, I'm single, so it wouldn't matter to me. But what if you were like, what if, what if you were like zooming into your house and you were at school and your boyfriend's car was there and another car pulled up? Yeah. I'd be leaving school. <laughs> You'd be going redneck. See, across the street where all those trees are, come on, uh -huh. right there, that's where the bathhouse is underneath all those trees. I got, wait a minute, I got a friend. You know Eric Owens? Yeah, I know Eric Owens. Okay. My husband used to work for I him. grew up with Eric. Yeah. When my husband lost his job in his mint he went to work with Eric David Rickman. Eric is Eric like is three houses the opposite way from me. Eric That's a long story, but he got stabbed in the eye at work and it just changed his life after well, that. He since he's been cleaning on the straight and narrow path. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. But it's a good thing for mm -hmm. him, but I'm just saying. Anybody else want to pull up one? Yeah, yeah Eric was three houses down here. Okay, well, tell him I said hello. I'll go I was going. Yeah, that would be something if you were like, if you were like doing that. You were like, okay, I'm going to look at my house today. And you pull up your house and somebody else is there. Yeah, that's a hay bale. And I done moved all the, that. That's where, those hay bales right there is what I made the swimming pool out of. You're so hungry. Well, you should have went and gotten something to eat. I would have paid for it. Oh. Okay, so you know where Vandale subdivision is now? Right there. I'm kind of confused because when I'm coming down uh, Michelin. Okay, Michelin's right here. Right, and I'm turning on the rich one. You're saying that it's before I turn on the rich one. Yeah, there's a road right there called Sutherland. Called Miss Sutherland. Oh, I know. Miss that. Sutherland That's used right to own. That's right around the curve thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of people don't know this, but the Sutherlands, the Sutherland daughters, are masters. And the masters farm is where? BASF is, which is now first quality, and Michelin and all that property used to be the Masters. Yeah. So they don't have to work. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they got their little town. The little town that they had is right here. When you go out, uh, I'm right here. Okay, there's. That's first quality. There we go. Here we go. Here's Masters Boulevard. Right here. You know where you turn, and there's the. There's the uh, Where's the Shell Station? Okay, Masters Boulevard. There's the Shell Station right there. Shell Station right here on 81. You turn right here and there's these little, there's these little buildings right here and it says Masters General Store. Well, so back then, back in the 30s to 50s, they had a cotton gin and they had a little town right here. And it was on their farm. They had a general store. They had a, they had a, they had whatever you needed right here. And it was just, and they made a lot of money and they bought up all this land and same thing with the Norris's on Norris Road. Mm -hmm. Norris did that. I know a lot of history out there. But when you when you go into Vandale, if you look right across, that's our farm right there. I'm trying to get Michelin to come on over here and buy this land over here, but they won't come across Genesee Creek. Oh, and that's another thing. You can tell when people aren't from around here. They call it Genesee Creek. They call it Generosity Creek. Mm -hmm. And you know they ain't from around here. It's Gen Rusty. But people don't say Gen Rusty. People say Gen Usty. And it's big. It's like 50 it's feet deep. wide and about 3 or 4 feet deep. And when it runs into uh, Devil's Fork, it turns into Big Genesee, which runs down there by, big Gen by Genesee Baptist Church. And then it's a river by then that runs into this little river. My ex-husband's chicken houses are on the road. Who's your ex-husband? I know the Earl's down there at Shiloh. Earl. I mean, is he down there on McGookin or, or Oprah, Opera House? Opera House. Okay. All right, I've done board y'all enough. Let's do some math. Mm -hmm. 
All right, what were we doing? Um, equation. Okay, so first you gotta find what? You gotta go to 3.7. First I gotta think. No. Oh, what's your problem? It's, I have to find, I gotta put my... So, I'm gonna rewrite it, two comma four, six comma seven, we read from left to right. So we gotta find a slope. So you shoot my hand, shoot your hand. All right. M is equal to X of two. I'm sorry, Y sub two. <laughs> minus Y sub one over X of two minus X sub one. And whenever I do this, whether I'm a student or whether I'm a teacher, I do it like this. And what we do now? Seven. Plug and chug. Four. Four. Six, two. And you said you were going to have a hard time with all this. Um, Seven minus four be what? Three over? Four. Four. So your slope is three fourths. So that's part one. So we're going to take our handy dandy reducer. <coughs> And yeah, it's not going to work because I've got it in the transparency. So I'm going to have to move this over here. And I'll move this up here. And move this over here. So that's part one right here. So divide it into three parts. First of all, I rewrote it so I could write my things up here. So that's not really, that's just something you need to do. This is part one, find the point, slope. Now, I pick a point. Which point do you think I'm gonna pick? It doesn't matter, but which one do you think I'm gonna pick? Two. Why? Because it's smaller. Keep it simple. Now, let's pick 137 and 32.5. Okay. All right, so two, point, and slope. And what do we have now? We have the problem we just did prior to this problem. So this is part two. So then you X of one, Y sub one, and then Y minus parentheses equals parentheses times X minus parentheses. And what goes here? Four. And? Three fourths. And? Two. Y minus four is equal to three fourths X minus six fourths. Now watch what I'm going to do here because some of you I'm going to lose you. But I'm not going to answer your question. You've got to think about it. I'm going to bring, put that calculator up. Bring that 4 over here. And y is equal to 3 fourths x minus 6 plus 16 is what? 10 fourths and 10 fourths reduced down to what? Okay. Now, I do know there's a question right there, but I want you to figure it out. Why is that 16 fourths over there? Good job, Miss Burdett. You gotta have a common denominator. So you convert four over one into what? 16 fourths. You gotta have a four as a common denominator. So one will go into four, four times. Four times four is 16. Now, if I had a choice to give you 10 questions out of 5.6 and 5.7, six to eight of them is gonna be just like we just did, or the one before it, or find, calculate the slope. So you're going to have six of these, or six of these right here, or three or four of these, and then three or four of these right here, and then one like this one. No? Yeah, the previous problem we did where you just have a point and a slope. And then you might have a graphing problem, and then you might have a method one, two, or three graphing. You see what I'm saying? In, in, the, in the area of five, is this three, three, three. Or five? three point six and three point seven. What you need to know for that part of the test is you need to know how to do this. You need to know how to do the problem we just did. You've got to know how to do this. And then you need to know how to graph the three methods. 
Three, we'll talk that. about it. Let's see. Let's see what the. Let's see right quick. I know what time it is. I know we got time, but let's see right quick because class is over at eleven forty, right? Eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. Um, let's go into what does the right. syllabus say? A chapter what? Uh, three point six, three point seven, seven point one, seven point okay. two. Seven point one is probably when we go into f of x's, and we don't covered that. Introduction of functions. Yeah. See, we've already done that. And then the algebra functions and formulas, applications, variations. We've done all that except for the last one. So, but y'all were like, I don't know how to do either. You were, well, yeah, you do because I've already covered it yesterday. So make sure you, did you watch the video yesterday since you wasn't here? Okay, that's, that's all right. I'm used to it. Anyway. Don't want it to get in the way of anything. Domain and range. We did that yesterday. Just don't watch it while, it's drunk, while you're drunk, okay? Don't do that. And then you call me names, and I don't like that. All right, now I don't, I don't do this, okay? So I will not test you on this right here because I don't do it. It confuses students. So don't even look at that, all right? If you want to look at something, look at, they got a little picture here. It looks like my picture somewhere in here. It's got a big box somewhere, and it, shows things going Look, in. Your little ice box was awesome. I appreciate that. Well, anyway, how to tell if a, this is, make sure you know how to do this, and I'm not going to, if you want to tell if a graph is a function or not, draw a vertical line through it. If it crosses one time, it's a function. If it doesn't, this is not a function. So you See, need to know that. Me. Why? If it crosses one Who line... Who was hungry a while ago? No strawberries. If it crosses... Repeat what you just said. If it crosses one line... This is not a function. That's draw not a vertical function. line. Draw a vertical line through all of these functions. And if it crosses more, the line more than once, then it's not, not a function. Okay. That, well, I think these two that just are not me. a function. Okay. So it crosses it more than one. It's not a function. It's not a function. Okay. You can pass them around too. I don't want you to feel like you're special or anything. You know, somebody will say that I'm treating you special, so pass it around. All right. Let's look at that. So that's that could be a test question that I just showed you. Okay. That means don't eat it all. Okay. There's my. Okay. There's my picture. I think yours is better now. Okay. So. There's some watermelon in there too. And you know how to do that. Let f of x equal blah, blah, blah. What output corresponds, what output corresponds to an input of five? Well, what would input be? X, so you plug in five is x. And what would that be? 15 minus seven is? Eight. Whatever you say, and there it is. Well, what if it says what input corresponds to an output of 5? Well, what is output? X or Y? Five. So 5 is equal to 3X minus 7. And you what? Okay. F of X is a fancy way of writing what? Y. y. Remember that. If you need to go back to pre-algebra, change the F of X to a Y. And then say, okay... If the output is 5, then that means I'm going to plug a 5 in for y, and I solve for x. It is simple as that. Do not make the pinky, <laughs> holding the pinky up, make you stupid. Because all you're doing is putting on airs. All you're doing is making the pre-algebra stuff that you learned back in the 7th, 8th, 12th grade, me, you're making it fancy. All right, so this is, we've already talked about this. You can do 7.1 homework. Do not do these. Any like these, don't do them. Just tell me about them, and I'll give you credit after class. Just come up here and say, Hubert, I didn't do those because those confused me. I'll find it and give you credit for it. But you need to see me, okay? Any of these, see these? I don't like these. Those confuse people. Any of these with the arrows. Any arrows? If you've got it, I try not to do it on the homework, but 
If it's on there, just skip it. I want you to do these graphs. I don't want you to do these right here. Don't do those. If you see any of these, don't do them. I just want you to do the graphs. Is this a function? Is this one right here 37? Yes, yes it is. How about this one? No. no. Because you draw a vertical line through it across more than once, it's not a function. Those are test questions. Why do I put those on the test? Because you're going to see it later on in other algebra classes. And they're going to say vertical line test, and you're going to, they're going to assume you know what that means. And in other words, it gives you points. And they're not mathematical. You just draw a line through it. All circles and egg shapes are not functions. Well, you have twice. Hmm? You because have it crosses twice. twice. How about this one? Is that yes. a function? Yes. How about this one? Uh, hyperbola and round functions are not, this is a hyperbola. It is not a function. And anything that resembles this resembles this is not a function but all these are test questions right here you might get two or three of those on the test all right now here is I want you to do number 43 that's a test question but would I give you that as a question like six parts or is each one a test question each one is a test question. I would not want to give you this as one test question. I'd rather just give you this one as a test question and this one as a test question separately. If you can do this problem, you can pretty much handle yourself as far as whatever section of homework this is, 7.1. Everybody's here except for Christian. Schneider. Yeah. Well, Young. Who? Young. Young was here. Darn, I didn't pull up what you call it. Vanna. You need to blow it up. Oh, Vanna's not here. That gum, Vanna. She done. She done started drinking again a bit. <laughs> should have a end of class party at my house. No, better not do that. Somebody will complain. Cookout. How about that? Injected. Shut up, Eva. Bureaucratic bullcrap. Here we go. Mr. Schneider is not here. And who else? Oh, Van is not here. Everybody else is here. So when is the last day of class in here? No, no, what day? Monday? Monday barbecue that we were. When's the end of finals for this week? For this week? Tuesday? I'm not going to have a Monday or Tuesday barbecue. We did a barbecue this weekend at my house because my son requested barbecue. It was a $230 bill. So far, three people like my post. Yep, I got three friends. Oh, look. Kitty cats. Are you know Ashley Franklin? Mm-hmm. She was one of my students. I met her this weekend. Met her this weekend. You saw it? I mean, it was like, You saw what? Pictures on um, book face. I put on a picture of 
Okay, so this problem says, uh, I done lost it. Here's an text. Where? Oh. All right, what do you do if you have a zero in parentheses? Plug it in. Two times zero, zero plus five is? Oh, boy, that's hard. That's some hard math. Eight. Eight times two is 16 plus five. Negative four times two? Eight. Negative eight plus five? Negative eight plus two? Well, that means we just shut down because we don't know how to we just sit there and stare at that. What? what does this mean? If you have something in parentheses, plug and that chug. means you plug and chug. And what have I told you to use whenever you plug and chug? Parentheses. Parentheses. It's as simple as that. If you do the parentheses, you won't mess up. So rewrite the problem. With big set of parentheses. Big head out of the way. And plug in. Simple as that. Two A plus what? Or you can sit there and stare at it for fifteen minutes and quit. Negative 7 times 2 is? Negative 14 plus 5? Negative 9. Well, what does this say? G of A plus 2. So that means we have to plug in what? Okay, so let's take our original problem. 2 times parentheses plus 5. And what are we going to do? Plug in A. A, and that will give us 2A plus what? Five. And then we're going to add what to that? Whatever the number is. Like two. Oh, my big head. 2A plus seven. 7. Now, what's hard about that? You second guess yourself when we're just questions. Just remember you're pre algebra. And whenever you plug in something, you put a big set of parentheses where the X is and plug it in and do the algebra. Simple as that. Okay, quit. 17 years ago. Just quit. Mm -hmm. You don't want to take my advice, just quit. I think just, this, okay. just. No, wait a minute, I got to do that. Okay. Oh, here's one where people just. I can't do that. I quit. Yeah, just I'm quit. Done. I'm, done. I'm done. And all this is, let me just show you what this is. I love this. No, just anyway. All you do is put your 2x. Minus 5, y is equal to 2x, and do this. And then put an 8 there, 13 here, and negative 5 here, and negative 4 here. Okay, let's get about the pinky, and let's go back to pre algebra. Mm -hmm. Now, what does this say? 16 minus 5. Put an 8 in for what? X. And you oh. get 16 minus 5 is whatever you say. What does this mean? Oh no, we can't do that. For the Y. 13 for the Y. Do you see why I'd say don't worry about the pinky? Y'all know how to do this because, and the reason I'm not saying y'all, students in 102 and college algebra, when they see this right here, I don't know how to do it. But if I show them this, they go, oh yeah, I know how to do that. Is there any difference between the two? No. no. This Hold up the pinky, put on a tie, this, blue jeans, and fly shirt. Yes. 13 minus 5 is, I have no idea, 7? Yes. 7 halves, right? Sure, 13 minus 5? Yeah. Wait. Hold up. Oh, right. uh, yeah. 7 yeah. Negative 5 yeah. plus 5 is what? Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. 0. Oh, negative, negative four, 13. negative four, negative eight, negative thirteen. That's it. This is a test question, and the reason I do this is to make y'all, make students, erase this in their heads and go to this. 
You see why people fail math? Yeah. People fail math two reasons. One, they don't know how to do fractions. Or two, they had a teacher that explained everything to them or they didn't listen in a difficult way. If I had a teacher and I'm if I had a teacher in the seventh and eighth grade instead of Brenda Bradbury, you would not have me for a teacher right now. Dang old quantum physics, dang old quantum mechanics. If I had not had Miss Bradbury in the seventh and eighth grade, whenever it was, see she destroyed my math career, you would not have me for a teacher right now, you'd have somebody else. Because I sucked at it so bad I was gonna learn how to teach it. Or she sucked at it so bad. I told her that at El Rivers. I told y'all that, right? And I had a few refreshments. And she was in there. And I said, I bet you don't remember me. Yes, I do. You're Hubert McClure. And I said, I just wanted to tell you that because of you, I became a math teacher. And she said, well, that's a, that's a nice compliment. I said, wait a minute. I said, what meant as a compliment? I said, I became a math teacher because you were the worst math teacher I ever had. And I tell people that. Oh, well, I don't know what to say for that. And I said, you ain't got to say nothing. I just wanted to tell you that you were a terrible math teacher. She's too mean to cry. I'm going to tell you something. Think about this. My, my students, this is all directed to me. Y'all got a few minutes. What time is it? 9.32. All right, well, anyway. My sister was the white sheep. Y'all know what a white sheep is, right? I was the black sheep. She made the only C she ever made in her entire academic career. She's summa cum laude, magna cum laude, all through college in that woman's class. They put fish on her engine of her car. Oh, gosh which destroyed the car. I came a math teacher because of her. Because she sucked. And y'all have the best math teacher in the world. I'm confident. Alright. What? What did she say? At least in my high school years. I had a pretty good math teacher in high school. And then... Bye, y'all. Oh, I didn't put yesterday's video up. And you it I gotta do it right now. No, I gotta do it right now. I thought you deleted it though. No, I don't delete them. I just, okay. I just rename them. Uh, All right, I gotta do that right now before I forget. Uh, uh, I got a whole hour to do tons of homework. And you're gonna fail. I am gonna fail. <laughs> well, at least you, at least you know that.